Hey everybody, welcome back to Book Spotlight. And I know we just did horses last week with the horse road, but we're gonna do another one again. And this is our first in the classic books that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing Black Beauty, a book that I have read I don't even know how many times. I had a copy of this that my dad had got as a child, and I read it nonstop because as a little girl, I loved horses, even though I was allergic to them. That made things interesting. But Black Beauty was one of my favorite stories. I had a, I had a movie, Black Beauty, but it was not actually lined up with this story. But Black Beauty, you've probably heard of it. I'm gonna read the back cover like we do in all these book spotlight videos. As a young horse, Black Beauty is well loved and happy. But when his owner is forced to sell him, he, his life changes drastically. He has many new owners. Some of them are cruel and some of them kind. All he needs is someone to love him. Again, whether pulling an elegant carriage for, or a ramshackle cab, Black Beauty tries to live as best as he can. This is his amazing story, told as only he could tell it. And do you notice there, I said he could tell it. This book is actually written from Black Beauty's point of view, which is kind of interesting. It's a different take on a story. We will now go inside and read the first five paragraphs. Black Beauty Part 1, Chapter 1, My Early Home. The first five paragraphs of Black Beauty. The first place that I can well remember was a large, pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Some shady trees leaned over it, and rushes and water lilies grew at the deep end. Over the hedge, on one side, we looked into a plowed field, and on the other, we looked over a gate at our master's house which stood by the roadside. At the top of the meadow was a plantation of fir trees, and at the bottom a running brook overhung by a steep bank. While I was young, I lived upon my mother's milk, as I could not eat grass. In the daytime, I ran by her side, and at night I lay down close by her. When it was hot, we used to stand by the pond in the shade of the trees, and when it was cold, we had a nice warm shed near the farm. As soon as I was old enough to eat grass, my mother used to go out to work in the daytime and come back in the evening. There were six young colts in the meadow besides me. They were older than I was, and some were running. Some were nearly as large as grown-up horses. I used to run with them and had great fun. We used to gallop all together, round and round in the field, as hard as we could go. Sometimes we had rather rough play, for they would frequently bite and kick as well as gallop. One day, when there was a good deal of kicking, my mother whinnied for me to come to her, and then she said, I wish you to pay attention to what I am going to say to you. The colts who live here are very good colts, but they are cart horse colts, and of course, they have not learned manners. You have been well bred and well born. Your father has a great name in these parts, and your grandfather won the cup two years at the Newmarket races. Your grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse I have ever known. And I think you have never seen me kick or bite. I hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways. Do your work with a good will. Lift your feet up when you trot and never bite or kick, even in play. And that is the first five paragraphs of Black Beauty. It's a pretty interesting story, especially if you're an animal lover. You just have to get it in your head that it is from the point of view of a horse and there is illustrations in our copy of it. And this and the books that are following this can all be found in the classic section of the library. If you need help finding it, you can let us know. And if you are interested in it, we can even get it ready for you. You can just give us a call at 606-348-8565 or drop in and we'll show you where the classic books are and you might find all sorts of new books that you would love. That's it for today. See you next week. Bye.